in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program. Known here on social media, wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, 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 mm, angel snuffing up seven. I am your soul brother. Number one, before we get into our topic, if you uh, fear death, if you have a weak stomach, then this is not the video for you. If you are looking for somebody to talk about uh, ghosts and demons and spooks and gremlins or whatever, this is not the video for you. I want to bring to us a subject in a realistic sense. My personal experience and again, if you are easily grossed out or uh, you fear death, you don't like people talking about death, things of that nature, or you're spooky, this is not the video for you because we're not going to be spooky here. Just like death, or just like life rather, death is a part of this reality that we live in. What happens in another dimension, what happens on Mars or whatever, I don't know these things. I'm going to talk about what we know. We're not going to talk about what we believe. We're going to talk about what we know. Not what we believe we know. I want, to been, <clears throat> I want to begin our discussion by talking about my diagnosis with cancer in 2020. That would be like four years ago. It was not my intent to bring my personal uh, health issues, my personal affairs, to the public, but unfortunately, there were people who turned out to be my enemies who thought by revealing my cancer diagnosis, it would help them in their slander and they're trying to destroy this ministry, what we call the Realities Temple on Earth by destroying the messenger because the ideology or the conclusions reached by the ministry they cannot debunk they cannot debate so let us try to destroy the messenger and perhaps we can get some headway so that the masses of the people can stay in a spooky condition. So the masses of the people, we can keep them in 1930, keep them in 5000 BC, keep them up out of this reality, keep them in some fabricated fantasy place that you make up in your mind, but the reality that we live and breathe we ignore, but the sad thing about it is, sooner or later, you're going to have to deal with reality. That's why many of you don't like death. Because death is going to check you. You can believe anything you want, but when death comes, reality sets in. And there's no debate. There's no argument. 
That's why you fear. That's why you don't like to talk about death. You can't talk about your afterlife because you ain't never been there. You can't talk about life after death. You can't talk about what happened in Mars. You can't happen in the sixth dimension. You can only talk about what you believe, what you dreamed about. Images that your brain created, but you ain't never been there. You can't prove you've been there. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2020. Again, if you are easily grossed out, I'm going to talk about this because it's the reality of it. That's what happened. I'm not ashamed. It's what happened. So, I'm taking a shower. And I start to feel faint. And when we take a shower, we, we're usually butt naked, right? Okay, so I'm butt naked in the shower and I'm starting to feel faint. But before I thought I would lose my consciousness, I quickly turned off the water and I quickly dropped and got out of that out of the shower and laid on my floor. Now, before I got out of the shower, my body went through changes. And I began to defecate on myself and urinate on myself. There's nothing I could do about it. I felt so weak, I felt I was getting ready to black out. I was able to get out of the shower and laid on my floor. And hours later, I, I woke up clean myself up but I felt real I still felt real real nauseous I felt real bad and family members were worried because I didn't want to eat I didn't want to drink I didn't want to do nothing I just wanted to lay there and sleep and sleep Now this is one of the signs of death is when you want to sleep and you just sleep. One of the signs of death is when the body begins to shut down. You sleep more and you don't want to eat, you don't want to drink. There's no need to because you're dying. And all your body functions are slowing down. So we were told that ex-president Jimmy Carter was in the hospice and Jimmy Carter lived to see his wife pass away. And Jimmy Carter lived to see his 100th birthday. And they took Jimmy Carter to his Celebration of his birthday But he was in hospice When you Place a person in hospice That's the countdown It has been It has been determined that you're dying And when a person begins to die You don't want to eat You don't want to drink You start losing a lot of body weight and your mouth is open all the time. It's because you need muscle strength to keep your mouth closed. You need muscle strength to keep your eyes open. When you die, your mouth. Because you need those muscles. Those muscles is what keep your eyes closed. Keep your mouth closed and so I'm, I cannot say that I was dying but I know how it feels to just want to sleep sleep I know how it feels and then during the uh, it's something called the death rattle when your breathing starts slowing down
like you gargling. Your breathing starts slowing down. And this is the peaceful side of death. When we think about death, sometimes we think about being shot. When you're being shot or stabbed or in an airplane crash, there's time where you will experience fear. But in when you are in a hospital setting and what they call a natural death, everything is peaceful. And soon the body shuts down where you just go black. Like when you have surgery and they give you that anesthesia and it puts you to sleep. You go to sleep and you're not going to wake up anymore. This is the reality of it. During the last moments of death, people will urinate on themselves. Your body begins to release itself. There's no... There's no Muscles to keep yourself together. And so people will urinate on themselves. They will defecate on themselves in the death process. Some men, because the blood is rushing down to your extremities, men will have an, an erection, a death erection. This is it. This is life. You are not declared dead until the brain stops functioning. Your heart can stop. Your breathing can stop. But your brain can still stay online for as long as 10 minutes. There's nothing that you can do. Nobody and nobody, there's nobody that can say after they died what, how, what this is really about. But those who are able to snap out of it, sometimes the body can come back for a little while. As long as two weeks or more. And this is where the spookiness come in. The, the near-death experience, your brain is still online. As you're dying. And since your brain is still online. You will have. Those who are able to come back. Not from death. But get back online. For some reason you get back online. So they will report. Seeing dead relatives. You know. Relatives that have already passed. You, you see your life pass before you these different images these different these different visions what it reminds me of like the old television sets remember the old television sets and when you cut those television sets off remember it'll go off and the screen gets smaller and smaller until it turns this little bitty like head to the everything is dark except that little tiny that little tiny speck of light until the television goes off. This is our reality. And so we fear these things. Instead of fear, we should learn the process of death. So we won't be scared. So we won't, we can understand when a loved one is dying, you don't get scared when you see them There's nothing to fear. And you won't know nothing about anything because death starts shutting everything down little by little. And then we're gone. Never to be seen again. There's not, there's nobody. Even in the Bible, you had people like Lazarus and there was others who were raised from the dead where are they at now? They're not here. Died again, I guess. Never to be seen again. And those are nothing but stories. There's no evidence, there's no proof that these people were raised from the dead.
physical death. We can barely be raised from mental death. That's why we are afraid of death. And ancient people, because they did not understand death and they had a fear of death, we make up all these stories of, I, I, I can't die. Here we are, human beings, the most destructive life form on the planet, but we can't die. The deer die, the bear die, dogs die, cats die, everybody die, but we don't die. We change energy and fly into an, another universe, another dimension to screw that up. Who is going to allow you, somebody, to come from this place where you screwed up to go somewhere else so you can screw that up? And isn't it amazing? The next dimension, the next universe is just like the earth. There's no difference. And we turn into these, to energy, and we still keep talking about he and she. Energy does not have a gender. Air don't have a gender. Oh, that's male air over here. That's female air. Oh, that's electricity. Male electricity, female electricity. Energy does not have a gender. Spirits don't have a, a gender. So why do we keep saying he or she? That's because we're still connected to life. And you've never seen the spirit to say whether it's a he or she. And it's funny, whenever we do see these spirits, these ghosts, they wearing clothes. They look just like the human being that died. Spirits don't need clothes. There's no Walmart in the spirit world. There's no Kmart in the spirit world. There's no Tommy Hill figure in the spirit world. All this stuff is make-believe, fantasy things. That we want to believe because of our fear and our ignorance of death. I would suggest to us, I don't fear death because it's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do can avoid it. I don't care how healthy you are, you're going to meet death. I don't care how rich you are, you're going to meet death. How young you are, you're going to meet death. I don't care about that. So why don't we stop tripping off these fairy tale, supernatural, silly, childish stories from ancient people. This is 2024. We know better. And understand and accept life for what it is. And enjoy the life while we got. That's why we have no respect for because I'm gonna I'm gonna live somewhere else. That's why. We don't do nothing with the life that we have. Because I'm going to die. I'm going to live again somewhere. That's a lie. We'll never see you again. So why don't we learn how to. The brief time we be on this planet. Learn how to work together. And with one another. And take care of ourselves. And animal life in this planet because it's all that we know just like people that rent people that rent will mess up the house or whatever because that's not mine anyway I just go to another place that rent but when you own something this is mine then a lot of people they try to take care of this because this, this is mine and that's all I got this is all that we got this one life so let's try to take care of it and take care of the others around us so all of us can enjoy this life to the best of our ability while we're here. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments and subscribe.